Hello everyone, welcome back to School of Alchemy. I just want to thank my new subscribers and I want to say welcome back to my loyal subscribers who has been with me since I opened my channel. So today's book is The Immortality Key, The Secret History of the Religion with No Name by Brian C. Morarescu, forward by Graham Hancock, who is the author of Fingerprints of the Gods, The Evidence of Earth's Lost Civilization. So since I borrowed this from the library, I won't be able to show the uh, dust cover, but uh, I hope it's okay with you. I'll just show the spine in the back. Okay, so what this book is about, this book is a groundbreaking dive into the role of psychedelics have played in the origin of Western civilization and the real life quest for the Holy Grail that could shake the church to its foundation. Okay, so this re this book is recent, it's new. It was published in year 2020, two years ago. Okay, let's go to the table of contents. This is very interesting. It says part one, brewing the psychedelic beer. <laughs> Okay, and then part two is mixing the psychedelic wine. Interesting, right? Okay, let's see who is it. That if you die before you die, you won't die when you die. Okay, so uh, it means... Uh, if you die before you die, it means dying from your old self and then uh, resurrecting from your new self through, uh, by, by taking psychedelics, you're gonna open your eyes, your third eye, and then you're gonna have an experience of traveling inside your inner self and also traveling to the transcendent. So through psychedelics, it's like a tool or a medium to transport you to communicate with the higher spirits. So let's read something about the author. With an unquenchable thirst for evidence, Brian C. Morarescu takes the reader in on his 12-year global hunt for proof. He tours the ruins of Greece with its government archaeologist. He gains access to the hidden collections of the Louvre Museum to show continuity from pagan to Christian wine. He unravels the ancient Greek of the New Testament with the world's most contro controversial priest. He spelunks into the catacombs under the streets of Rome to decipher the lost symbol of Christianity's oldest monuments. He breaches the secret archives of the Vatican to unearth manuscripts never been translated into English. And with leads from an elite group of archaeolog archaeological chemists, he unveils the first scientific data for the ritual use of psychedelic drugs in classical antiquity. This is the forward. This is the forward. Okay. 
School of Athens. So the uh, the illustration in this book are black and white, and some are colored. The one in the center fold. This is Marcus Aurelius. And Leonardo da Vinci, La Del Supper. Okay, so this is a very, uh, this book is like an adventure. So I don't wanna spoil it by telling you everything, but uh, I'm gonna give you like an idea by uh, reading one of the paragraph. It says here, the hunt for the psychedelic origins of the Western civilization has to begin with, where? Eleusis. There you go, Eleusis. It was one of the oldest religion, really, it was one of the oldest religious tradition of ancient Greece and arguably the most famous. But timing is everything. 40 years ago, the classic establishment was in no position to seriously consider the controversial marriage of the mysteries and the drugs. So, uh, the classicist is denying that, uh, that the mystery, you know, the Eleusinian mystery, has nothing, the psychedelic has nothing to do with the mysteries. In this book, the author will show you like scientific evidence to prove that there was a psychedelic long time ago in ancient or in the during the antiquities. So I'm gonna flip through the book so you can see the Images, although they are in black and white. So this is the Annunciation painted by Frangelico, which is one of my favorite painting. This is Zeus and Semele. Jesus with a halo. The Wedding at Cana painted by Paolo Veronese around 1563, currently in the Louvre. It's a line drawing from Lenin Vassen, published in 1912. It said in this in this drawing they are mixing the brew, you know, they're creating the brew. And this one, this is a, a Greek vessel or cantaros. Unearthed at Mas Castellar de Pontos for inspection by Karl Rock. Karl Rock is one of the writer for The Road to Eleusis. Mixing the psychedelic wine. The drug of immortality. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you if you're familiar with shamanic ceremony, they also drink, uh, you know, the mushroom or the cactus plant, and all all of that is being mentioned in this book. Peyote. Okay, so. Here is Alexandra Cardiano pointing out the details of the seated menad on G409. The ancient pottery is chipped over the priestess right hand, left and bottom the plant, herb, or fungus in her left hand. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. That's the plant. 
plant medicine. Okay, so there's an interesting photos here. So this is Carl Rock. And this is Brian, the author. The author in the massive courtyard at the entrance of archaeological site of the Eleusis in September 18. 20, in September 2018. This is letter of the this is a letter of Dr. Albert Hoffman to Dr. Gordon Wason. The I say ethnomyological collection archives at the Botany Library. Here, here you can see a uh, Carl Rock's chess set featuring satyrs as pawns and beside an Aztec mushroom stone that once belonged to Rock's friend, collaborator, and ethnobotanical pioneer Gordon Wasson or Wason. Gordon Wason is also the author of The Road to Illusius. Is the chief excavator of Eleusis, Calliope Pampagelli, under the wooden pergola beside the archaeological museum, September 2018. And this is the, uh, the National Archaeological Museum in Athens, Greece. This is taken in the Eleusis, and this is a Greek Orthodox Church. And you can see here, uh, from inside the Plutonium Cave at the archaeological site of Eleusis, the Mount of Hell, uh, more than 1600 years after the mysteries, were obliterated by the newly Christianized Roman Empire pilgrims. The pilgrim people still flock to this sanctuary to leave offerings for the queen of the dead, which is Persephone. Among the cash are pomegranate, walnuts, almonds, olive branches, and sesame cake. If you remember the Eleusinian mystery, I'm going to put the link down below so you can see my previous video. Uh, Apollo forced Persephone to eat the pomegranate fruit so she can come back at the, in, in, his dark, in, this, in his world, in the underground world during winter time. Dr. Martin, Dr. Martin Sankow at his office to the oldest working brewery. Well, I think you want to know him. <laughs> Another, you know, container for the brew. Cauldron. Okay. So... This is a very not interesting picture because Mark Hoffman on the left, Ramon Buxo on the center, and Carl Rock on the right, transiting the nave of the 12th century Romanesque Basilica at the Benedictine Abbey of St. Per the Galan Galigans, Girona, Spain. Okay. This is a medieval cloister of the Benedictine Abbey of Saint Per de Galigans, Girona or Girona, Spain.
This one is the reconstruction of the Greek mysteries dedicated to Demeter and Persephone inside the domestic chapel at Mas Castellar de Pontos in Catalonia, Spain. More illustration. So this is him. Father Francis and the author at the Monastic Library of Chi, Chisa e Convento di San Francisco in Agony, in Agnone, Italy. On the examining table in the restricted access section of the Louvre, between the vases, the lobe edition of Euripides Bacchae, together with several pages of spiked wine formulas, Materia Medica. Okay, see there is a book. This book is about the spiked wine. Yeah. Formula of the spiked wine. <laughs> So they've been brewing a long time ago, but it's for it's for uh, psychedelic purposes. So we so the initiate can connect to the gods. And this one, this is uh, Jos Corides describing the mandrake painted by. Ernest Bord around 1912. Wine spiked with mandrake. So the lady is showing the mandrake. The herbal encyclopedia was published in the second half of the first century when the letters of St. Paul and the Gospels were being composed in the same language. Once again, this is the author. Father Francis and the author in the Lizard Lounge, Paris, following their ancient Greek Bible study of the Gospel of John. Okay, so I'm going to read this because uh, this is relevant to me as well because I'm a Catholic. It says here, uh, for, a ri for a rising tide of Catholics like me, the placebo Eucharist has become an empty symbol. In John's language about the immortality to be gained by consuming divine flesh and blood, Nothing but a fairy tale. These days, no one tastes the Eucharist and sees God. But what if the use of visionary drugs or psychedelics was a reality for a small group of Christians huddled together in the house churches and catacombs of the ancient Mediterranean for the first 300 years after Jesus? Okay, this book is... 392 pages. If you're going to include the notes and indexes, it's going to be 460. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and invite your friends to subscribe. And if you would like to support my channel so I can continue and sustain my book reviews, uh, feel free to click on the link, click on my Amazon affiliate link because I make a small, tiny percentage of, the, of your purchases. So thank you so much. I appreciate you and I'm grateful for all of you who are sharing this uh, love of books with me. 
So thank you. See you again next week. Bye.